Matisse once stated that creativity takes courage. Well, Joey is courage in the flesh. Since age nine, you would find him with pencil, sketch pad, whatever he had to draw on, creating future masterpieces. Even when withdrawn from his home state of VA to SC, people would see his talent, his passion, and how he would master pieces of art. Because that's what life is, art. And it takes courage. But one work hard to master peace. And art is his peace, an outlet, what seems to be the only way to escape out than to let the clutches of depression to make a mural of his pain. Instead, he leaves impressions with paintbrushes, brilliance with each stroke, had no idea his art would reach folk with the Renaissance in his wrists while painting portraits, pastel songs with his palms, index finger and thumb with sketch lines of love. And if love is a house, his art is an Ernie Barn sugar shack. He is a JJ for the new good times. He has courage on canvas, inspiration on an easel, activism with acrylics, connect colors with colors. A palette capturing the unity of rainbows, leaving an impact, because that's what courage does. Impact lives. It gravitates from his once being homeless to people hanging his art in their homes. Like James Brown's daughter, Deanna Brown Thomas, Bunny DeBarge, Ronnie Moss of the Spinners. So amazing how his art can spin heads to raise brows, all because he chose to raise brush. And it all started one day when he was downtown Greenville, South Carolina, painting a picture of a dog and someone offered to purchase that painting. And that began his leap of faith to pursue his passion. Isn't that amazing? How certain moments create light bulbs over your head to bring light to ideas, to accomplish dreams. And accomplishing dreams takes courage. Funny how dreams and creativity are related. It takes courage for both. And Joey took both his dreams and creativity with a bucket full of paintbrushes, eyes filled with stars, a mixed media of meteors and watercolor wishes on Milky Ways because he refused to dabble in life with the dry brush. He'd rather work to make a universe of art galleries, not just on paper, to be a still life, but a collage of all people where there's a refuge of healing, a place to educate the youth, a place where he could be what he was designed to be, creativity and courage in the flesh. (laughs) 